Good morning everyone, welcome to today's studio vlog. So today's should be a pretty chill day. I do have some work to do with custom orders and stuff like that, but I also have a few sort of odds and ends that I want to take you along for. Um, so probably top priority today is to work on the custom bullet journal that I'm currently working on. I finished all of the monthly themes last week, but today I want to finish some of the weeklies. So that's priority number one. And aside from that, I want to do some brainstorming for my own May bullet journal theme because I need to film that this week so I can get it up in time. And I'm also hoping to do some stuff on my iPad. I've been designing a few like stickers and printables and things like that for my Etsy shop. So I'm hoping to continue that today as well. So the bullet journal that I'm working on today is for Maddie and I've got it all laid out over here. So one thing about this journal is that she gave me a set color palette beforehand and just said that she wanted lots of pastel colors. So normally I do have all of my markers organized in this little vertical storage unit that I made out of cardboard and yogurt containers, but when customers give me a set color palette, I like to separate the colors in advance so that I can make the whole journal look really cohesive by only using these set colors. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to do a few of the weekly spreads for this journal. So I just finished the weeklies for this little purple koala theme that I'm doing for October. So all the days are on the side here and then we've got a little koala in the corner and then a to-do spot and a to-buy spot. So there's just columns for those lists. So I've done a few of the weeklies in here and I think I'm going to take a break from this and just do a little bit of brainstorming for my May bullet journal theme. Okay, so it's a few hours later. I've been thinking about my theme and doing other things and I'm really honestly, I'm not happy with where my theme brainstorming is at right now, but I'm gonna show you guys anyways because I don't know if I'm gonna do much more of that today. I'm kind of getting sick of it, so I think I need to take a break and do something else, maybe draw on my iPad or something, but I'll show you the progress that I've made and how I typically plan out a theme for my bullet journal. So normally this is how I prepare for my plan with me videos. I sketch out a trial run of the cover page, which if you watch my April plan with me, you'll know that I did switch this up. I changed the background to be a grid and I changed the border color and a few other things. Um, but anyways, I sort of sketch out the cover page and then I map out exactly what pages I'm going to have. So I've got my memories page, my title page, and then my calendar and my tasks page, my monthly check-in and then my first weekly. So I usually plan this out and you can see I play around a bit with color palette at the bottom here. So that's normally what I would do to plan um, my next month. So here I was figuring out the color palette and by the time that this video, this vlog is up, my May plan with me will probably be up. So I'm not sure yet which one of these I'll go with or if I'll go with something totally different, but I really like it and I'll show you now I was playing around with the idea of doing like a, a heart, like a human heart, not just like the heart shape, um, with some kind of designs and so I was playing around with this but I really am not loving it so I don't really know what to do to change it up or make it better. Maybe I'll save the heart idea for in the future and try something easier now but anyways this is the progress I've made but I think it's time to take a break.
So as you guys saw, I just designed this little sticker in Procreate. I asked for suggestions over on Instagram about what kinds of stickers you guys would like to see and somebody suggested postage stamps and I've kind of been wanting to do some sort of like bouquet illustration like this anyway so I decided to combine the two and we'll see. This may be up in my Etsy shop. Hopefully by the time I post this video some stickers are up in my Etsy shop because right now I've just been like ordering from a few different websites to see about the quality because I myself do not have a Cricut nor do I really feel like investing in one so I decided to get my stickers printed by a different company um, so anyways here's another one that I designed I'm not totally sure um, how I feel about having the person in it I might just like take that out when I actually post this as a sticker but I do like the little hippie van with the flowers in the window and stuff and as you can tell I am loving this color palette with like yellows and oranges and stuff and then here's another random one that I did a little like paper grocery bag with some groceries in it and I've been doing others too but these are kind of my top three at the moment Alright, so as you can see, I just did one of the weekly spreads for January in this journal and I did a little pastel butterfly theme and I wanted to just show you guys my new lamp. It's from Funlit. I feel like I'm saying sunlit with a lisp, but no, it's actually from Funlit and it's got a few different settings. So it's got a cool light setting and then more of like a warm light and then the brightest one which is what I had it on to do my drawing so they kindly gifted me that lamp as well as this little guy which is actually so cute my husband named him Andrew but he's pretty cool because if you hold his head the brightness changes and you just tap his head to turn him on and off which is pretty cool but anyways thank you so much to Funlit and I will have um, links in the description so that you can check out their products as well. I really love them. I especially love um, that they're cordless. So I seriously, it like, it takes only a matter of seconds to like pack this up and put it away if I don't have room for my desk on it. And then I can just charge it up when it does run out of battery, which is not very often. So thank you so much, Thunlit. And if you're interested in checking out either of these products or the many more that they offer, I'll have those links in the description. Thank you all so much for joining me. For just kind of a random day with some custom bullet journal work and prepping for May and all that kind of stuff. I hope that you enjoyed it and if there are other things that you would like to see from me in these little studio vlogs, please do let me know in the comments and I hope that I'll see you guys in my next video.